All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce JavaScript libraries. What is a JavaScript library? Well, a JavaScript library is code that we could download or source into our website that previous JavaScript programmers already created and wrote these programs to save us a ton of amount of time. There's a few JavaScript libraries out there, but there's one that is the most popular by so far, and it's called jQuery. You might have heard of it. And uh, I'm not going to lie, jQuery is actually one of my best friends. It's great for slideshows, animations, events, etc. Anything that looks cool on a website that isn't HTML probably has something to do with the JavaScript library jQuery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google jQuery, and this is the one that we're looking for, jQuery.com. Pull this up a little bit. Okay, so over here on the right-hand side, there is two jQuery files. One of them's minified and one of them's unminified. They're the exact same code, except this code has been scrunched up and it's very hard to read. Let me click on it. Yeah, I mean, they don't have line breaks. I can't even see where the comments are at. I guess their comment starts right there. But this looks like a nightmare. If you're not planning on editing your jQuery file, you can definitely go with this one. But if you are planning on editing it, go with the unmini unminified copy. See, much better. You can actually see what's going on. These comments, Jason. Okay. And I think I'm just going to take this one for the sake of the tutorial. Well, the next question is, how do we get this into our web page? How do we source this in? Well, there's two things we could do. We could just copy and paste this whole thing, create a file for it, and source it into our head tag right here. Or I can just steal the URL and just source it in externally as a third party. And there's no right or wrong. Whatever you prefer is absolutely fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a script in my head tags, in between my head tags. Script source. And give it quotations. Nope, that's single, double quotations. And I'm going to paste in the code just like that. And we just need to close out our script. And we have successfully installed jQuery into our website. And in the next video, we'll create a couple examples on how to use it and make some pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, so good luck with this. Not too much going on in this video, but hopefully you learned how to get jQuery into your website. All right, guys, good luck. See you in the next video.